I'm Dr. Mitchell Katz. I am a pediatric gastroenterologist uh, at Chalk Children's Hospital, and I am medical director of the multidisciplinary feeding program that we have here at Chalk Children's. The children that we have seen and we treat, they've either been premature infants or have had significant medical complications in the first years of life that have disrupted their feeding development. And in a multidisciplinary fashion, hence the name, we work with these children to introduce them to a, a typical diet and more uh, to wean them off dependence and reliance on technology. The goal of the program is to change the child's life, the child's relationship with food, and to change the parent's relationship with the child as they change their relationship with food. It is an incredible experience. We go from what I call tears to tears. We go from tears of frustration to tears of joy. And those tears of joy, I wear proudly. Right now, we're doing about 35 children per year. Our hope is to increase our numbers somewhat. There's a limit of capability. Uh, we've done approximately 225 kids uh, since the advent of the program. About 75% of the children that we uh, treat are on gastrostomy tube feedings, and after our program, 90% of those children are off of the G-tube. And on follow-up, after about three months, about 83 to 85% of those children stay off of the G-tubes. If ever there was a gratifying number, that is one, because no one in the world does as good a job as we do. The members of the program I consider to be family. We laugh a lot, we kid a lot, we enjoy each other's company, but when we sit down in our meetings, where you have 25 people sitting around tables discussing kids. Everybody is uni-focused. Egos are left at the door. Specialties are left at the door. Everybody's talking about the child and the interplay of their different specialties and uh, abilities. Everybody's relating to each other. To the goal of working with these children and moving the ball forward to get them eating. The, the therapists, the feeding therapists, the psychologists, the dietitians, social workers, the case managers, the department assistants, the nurse practitioners, all contribute in an equal fashion. And that I'm sitting in the room is solely because I believe in it and to provide a little direction but watching them fly and do what we set out to do to really affect children's lives one teaspoon at a time. The ability to affect one life is a great gift. The ability to work with a child who has significant problems and then ultimately to see a smile, get a hug, give a tickle is something that is very special and I will always prize. And to take children who are really sick and then seeing them function, functioning normally in life is an incredible gift. The hug of a child, the giggle of a child, the smile from the parent. What more do you need?